Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of Brotator. We are jumping in again for another run and I wanted to try out something pretty interesting for this episode. We do have some new characters to try, but I thought it'd be interesting to give a go with a little bit of an interesting build. I kind of had this idea in one of the last episodes. There's an item that allows you to get um, additional um, turrets when you destroy trees and this guy gets more tree spawns. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we go with an engineering build with the explorer here and see how it goes. I did also get like an unlock all thing because I wanted to just have access to all the weapons and items available uh, while we're doing videos because I'm not going to be progressing through the game naturally as I'll only be playing it on occasion on videos. But we're going to start with the screwdriver because we do get uh, mines that scale off of our engineering. Um, and let's have a look, look, see. Enemies are stronger. We're going to stick on uh, level two for now. Um, and yeah, we're going to be going over and destroying all the trees we can. Hopefully we can get a good amount of screwdrivers going here so that we can take full advantage. But as you can see with this guy as well, the area is also much bigger. Um, so we've got that to deal with as well. And I believe there's more enemies per wave too, which is interesting, which is one of the reasons I've gone for the mines. Um, so there's engineering already. Uh, more tree spawns is amazing. Screwdriver's really good here. Um, oh, dude, getting two of those more tree spawns already is insanely good for us. We've also got another screwdriver there as well. Um, but yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of tree spawns here. And that means a lot of stuff. And I think if we increase our luck as well, we should get crates from trees a lot more often too, which is really good. Um, it might be worthwhile for us to increase the value of healing from fruits as well, because we're going to be destroying a good amount of trees, therefore getting a good amount of fruit everywhere especially once we start to ramp things up a little bit so we want to go for that um i'm gonna try and roll for engineering there you go we got some engineering there i'll take some extra chance for uh loot aliens thank you i'll lock that in grab another screwdriver i'll also lock that in as well and we'll go so yeah screwdrivers are the way to go for now you can just see already how many insane amount of trees we've got going on here it's it's kind of beautiful to be honest uh, there you go there's our first crate we should hopefully get to the point where we're getting a ton of those but yeah, the only problem with this build is it does pretty heavily rely on us getting that one item that makes destroyed trees spawn turrets, um, which obviously is a, is a single item. It could be kind of difficult to end up grabbing that, so we'll have to see how that aspect of this goes. I don't know how easy it's going to be to come across that. We've just got to kind of wait. Um, I'll go with melee damage here. Actually, no, I'm, I'm going to stick with the engineering. Uh, we'll grab that and that. And we'll grab that. I'll take that as well, actually. I'll lock that in. Um, and I'll re-roll, see if we get anything else. Um, Yeah, that's pretty good too. Armor and engineering is pretty good for us here, I'd say. The maximum HP loss is a, is a little bit annoying. I'm hoping as well that once we get enough mines in the mix, that we might be able to get to the point where the mines basically just get detonated instantly and destroy the trees for us. Um, and then we've got like a self-sustaining little thing going on, which could be quite nice. It does seem that the trees do spawn kind of randomly though. There doesn't seem to be, be a sort of particular rhyme or reason to when they spawn. Oop, we've got a loot boy here. Try and take him out. Oh my god, it's kind of hard to take him out to be honest. Hey, so we've got three chests that wave. So chests clearly are going to be coming at us quite fast. We'll take that, thank you. Um, recycle that. More engineering, lovely. Attack speed. Yeah, I'm going to go with attack speed because I'm pretty sure there's items that increase um, our attack speed with our turrets, which would be really good for us. I'll take some range. Why not? This is kind of interesting. We'd, we'd no longer gain any max HP from leveling up because you already get minus. Uh, you already get plus one, so it just means we don't get any. But we keep gaining lifesteal. But I think that's a bit risky at this point. I'll stick with those two locked in and... Uh, keep on going but yeah increasing our luck is is another sort of next up thing to get more uh, crates from trees but we're already getting a few also as well i was just about to say curse is gonna be good but also as well there's a item that mean, means you get materials i think it's 15 materials for uh opening a crate that could be a really really good one for us as well actually but you can see at the minute obviously this isn't really like the engineering isn't really doing a whole hell of a lot the mines obviously have gained a bit of damage, but overall the engineering isn't exactly carrying us, but it's all the long con. We're, we're, we're playing for what it could become later on. 
That's really good for us. I mean, I might as well take that. Plus three armor is really nice here. We'll combine two of those and grab these. That. Another screwdriver there. Okay, we'll just lock that in and go. We're already getting our uh, screwdrivers really nicely leveled up. I mean, the damage of them as a melee weapon is very useful, but we're really all about um, the deployment of mines and the damage of said mines. But you can see there, do you see that mine just destroy that tree then? I thought it was plausible from destroying. Now we just got to take advantage of that. You can see we're already getting some cursed enemies. We really want to get up to the point where we're starting to find some cursed items and weapons. Because we could do some really, really cool stuff if we start getting a lot of cares things going on. We could also do with more pickup range as well, so we can pick up fruits even easier. That would be good. But it's good that we already have the item, the lumberjack thing, so we can destroy the trees in just one hit. That that definitely helps. Try and get as many trees as we can. Didn't get that many fruits this time. I'll take that. There's some luck. We'll go with that. Grab that. Ooh, um, yes, I'm going to go with that. Piggy bank ale is really nice. I'll also lock that in too. Okay, we're starting to get some good stuff here, but we are unfortunately still waiting on our crucial item to make this build really start to pop off. That is still, um, still not showing up yet, but it is only a blue item, so it's not super, super unlikely. It's, we, we should find it at some point, but there's no real way we can, uh, do anything to influence the chances of that appearing, really. Just kind of look at the draw for us. Just kind of look at the draw. Okay. We are losing a good bit of health, but as long as we keep smashing up trees, we keep getting the fruits that heal us. But as I said, we need to get to the point where our fruits are healing us for a lot more than they currently are, because at the minute they only heal for like four, I think. Yeah, three. So... Really, that doesn't give us much longevity, does it? Um, plus ten percent enemies, minus five harvesting's not ideal, but I think I'll take that. I'll take that too. I'll take that too. I think I'm just gonna take the maximum HP here, and just, honestly, the speed as well. But definitely that. That we've got a turret there. That's good. I'll lock that in and see what else we get here. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting one. I think I'll lock that in as well. Enemies doing extra damage is a bit scary, but overall that sounds useful. More materials. 20% more material drop seems uh, good, especially if you stack a few of those. That could get pretty bad in terms of taking damage, but in terms of getting materials, that could go kind of wild, right? There, another crate. We so many crates, baby. I love it. Told you that luck would uh, come in handy. The only thing about the area being so big here is it is really hard to see when trees do spawn. Like, we see the ones in the middle where we're at, but like the ones like this, we've got to go out and find. And look at that, out of creating it, so it's not like we can just be leaving them. You also do get a good amount of materials from destroying trees as well, which is why this character starts with less material gain. Good. Another tree there. Beautiful. Yes, please. Yes, please. A minus 10 harvesting is not ideal right now, I will say. Um, do you know what? There you go. Let's undo that straight away. Yeah, we'll take that. Really should have taken that first, obviously. Makes no sense to have uh, spent the extra 5% on that, but I, I did what I did. We haven't seen any screwdrivers in a little while here either, which isn't ideal. At the minute, just stick with it. We'll be fine. There's some big boys about. Not ideal to have them around, especially when they're cursed. Oh my god. Guy's going to have a lot of health. Does give more time for stuff to spawn there. We're doing enough damage with the screwdrivers though to maintain right now. I'm just a little worried for wave 12. Wave 12 is when we get our first elite, and if we don't have turrets by then, could get a little sketchy. We shall see. We shall see. We have a lot of enemies, I will say. The the uh, increase to enemy spawns has clearly worked, because this is an insane amount of enemies right now. <laughs> I like it, though. Fun. I'll take that. 
I'll take that as well. Oh, there you go. Fish hook's very good for us. Punch my engineering. I'll take that armor back. But with that. Explosion damage is really good for us. Ooh, 20% chance to find an extra item in a crate. That's really good. Duplicate the next item you get from the shop. Okay, so... I think I'm going to go with... Screwdriver, I'll just buy. I'm going to lock this in and try and get a better version of it. That's kind of interesting. I might try that out, actually. Let's lock those in and try and fish hook them. There's only a 20% chance, so we might have to wait a little bit on the mirror, especially. But the fish hook... Cursing that. I, I do wonder what the curse mirror even does, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure what that'll be. You can see th these screwdrivers are doing a decent amount of damage. And the mines as well are actually really good. You manage to get a horde of enemies on top of a mine. It does tend to do quite a bit of damage to them. It's unfortunate that you can trigger your own mines by walking over them. A lot of the time I'm pathing enemies towards a mine and detonate it before they get there. Sometimes it's useful, but most of the time it's kind of not. But yeah, having a healers over time instead of directly straight away is a bit scary, but it, it kind of means we'll just have like a constant amount of good HP regen, right? Is what I'm thinking. I'm getting a lot of materials here. Definitely take that. Yeah, I'll take some of that. I don't want to recycle that. Um... Armor, I think, again. More engineering. We didn't get a thingy on either of those. I really want those to a thingy, though. Projectiles get... Ooh, that's kind of interesting. That's fine, because if we get turrets, that might work with them. Ooh, we'll take another one of those. Or do I lock it in? I'm going to try and lock it in. This is a bit sketchy, because we've got three items locked in now. I'm going to have to buy one next wave. I can't keep those in there the whole time, otherwise we're never going to find any new items. But I would like to wait until at least one of them curses. The mirror especially. I don't know what the mirror will do, but if that can curse, I'd really like to see what happens with it. Or if I curse one of the other items, I could take the mirror and then be able to get two of them. We're gaining damage at the end of a round. A cursed doubled one of those could be a uh, very lucrative for us. Unfortunately, we haven't seen any more of the tree items that spawn even more trees. I mean, we're already spawning a lot, but it'd be nice to see even more. And we are one wave away from our elite here as well, so... Definitely a little scared for that, I'll be honest. Don't think we quite have enough to stand up to an elite right now. Defense-wise, we might be okay, but offense-wise, I'm not too sure. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Check that again. Hey, we've been looking for the bag. We'll go with the armor again here, and there's some engineering. Still no curse on any of these. I'm going to buy the jerky now just to get it out of rotation. Hey, there's another bag there. Lovely. Definitely take that. Grab that. Have that. Okay, good stuff. Keep those two locked in. So yeah, Elite is this this wave, I'm pretty sure. Somewhere around here. I thought it was wave 12 that we got an Elite, unless it's later on in the wave. Or maybe it's a Horde. Maybe this is a Horde wave, not an Elite wave. I might be wrong about that. I'm on difficulty too, right? Maybe I'm not. So far, though, the um, the fruit healing us over time seems to be working pretty well for us. My god, there's so much going on right now. But I need my turrets. This build has so much potential. Just let it happen. Nice to see the mines do holding their own, though, for now. 
Didn't really ever consider the mines to be that good. Oh my lord, that was a, a misplay on a half on my behalf there. We got through it. I will take that, thank you. Hey, there you go. Okay, minus 14% item price. Didn't expect that to be the bonus on top of there. That's lovely. Um, effects and curses are lost after using the item. Oh, uh, so I, I lose that anyways. Okay, so let's buy that. And then, yeah, there you go. Dude, doubling that's amazing. Hey, plus two. That's really nice there. We'll grab that too. Have that. We got a cursed one there. Nice. Although we've already got a lot of stuff there, so I'm not going to bother locking it in. Good stuff. I want more fish hooks. Give me more of the fish hooks. We're getting a lot more. We're getting uh, 30 materials off of every crate we find now, and we've got a decent amount of luck. We're healing a lot off of our uh, fruits as well. We need the one where we get the legendary item where we gain uh, extra stuff for um, picking up fruit, getting extra max HP. What do you do? I always forget what you do. Either way, let's take you out. Okay, you just spawn a horrible enemy. That's that is a cursed, powered up enemy. That is a lot of HP that that guy has. A lot and a lot of HP, but goddamn, we are getting a good amount of materials per wave now. I like it. Beautiful. Um, nah. Yes, please. More engineering. I'm still going to go on the engineering train, even though it isn't really paying off yet. I'll lock that in and try and curse that. Ooh, wow, Legendary Shredder. I, no, I don't actually want that, unfortunately. And I'll lock that in as well. I'm going to lock all of the all of those in. Yeah, I'm going to lock all of those in and try and curse at least one of them. The fish are such an interesting idea. I love the idea of, like, delayed gratification having to be weaker on the next wave in order to try and gamble to power up your next uh, later waves. As long as you think you can survive the heat, it's a really good gamble. But it is definitely a gamble. Wow, we've got three crates already. These uh, walrus guys are uh, pretty tricky. They've got a lot of HP. And they seem to do a pretty hefty amount of damage, actually. My goodness, getting hit all over the place. But yeah, it just looks like I have crazy HP regen, but I don't actually have any HP regen. I have very little, at least. Yeah, I have minus three HP regen, so but it looks like I have tons. One thousand, my god. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, fish hook. Lovely. Current pity bonus. I don't know what pity bonus is. Ooh, plus one engineering for every permanent one elemental. Ooh, okay. That's good, that, because then we can take elemental as well. None of those cursed, unfortunately. Minus one engineering for every one structure you have. That's not very good for us. I'll take that, though. I'm still going to keep all of those there, now that we've got two fish hooks and I'm a little more confident. I think we're still relatively safe. Our weapons seem to be doing a decent job of killing stuff, the mines are decent. Still no tree item though. Really, really holding out for it. We're on wave 15 already and it's not come to us yet, which is a bit of a shame. I'm actually surprised we're doing as well as we are, considering we don't have... A very crucial part of this potential build that I've come up with here. And I'm sure I'm not the first one to have come up with this. I'm sure this has been done plenty of times before, but I haven't really looked at many guides for this game and just kind of came up with it the last time I was playing and thought it'd be fun. And so far it is, even though it hasn't really panned out yet. But it will. I have her. I have high her.
Definitely some more maximum HP before wave 20 as well. Maximum HP is a little low at the minute. We're getting two to three crates every wave or more. That. Good. So I can take elemental damage and that will increase my engineering as well, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, nice. We've got two cursed here. There you go. There you go. A beautiful stuff. And we got two of those. I should wait for that to cash, really, but... Okay, we'll lock that and try and cast that. And lock in that and try and cast that as well. I'm not. I'm trying not to spend all my money as well here, because piggy bank. It's actually kind of good to leave stuff just, just stewing, because, yeah, we get piggy bank to proc. I don't see that many trees around here at the minute. Where's our trees at? And it also sort of... Reduces our need to get normal materials because we're getting materials through this. Our harvesting is at 37 as well, which is nice. That's about to go up as well when we buy the other uh, thing that once it's cursed. Hello, you. Kill you so you curse me. There you go. Look, we're up to three crates already this stage. Dear Mr. Curse Man, I want your curse. Ooh, what the hell is this amalgamation boy? The big boys. Take that. Um, yeah, take that, why not? Got some luck. No cares. Dude, I'm just gonna buy this thing because it's pissing me off. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Ooh, this is very good. I'll lock that in. Okay. 40% chance for these things to curse. It can't take that long. But yeah, that will gain us a ton more materials. Especially now we're on, what, we're on 36 curse? It's not crazy high, but we're definitely getting a good amount of cursed enemies every wave. Especially considering the amount of extra enemies we're spawning per wave. We're on, like, I think it's on secondary stats, so we're on... Enemies, 60% additional enemies at the minute. That's quite a lot. But you can just see there's like materials scattered everywhere from mines going off and killing enemies as they spawn. Like constantly happening. Oh god, I got hit by a lot of random shots there. Luckily though, in a few seconds, we're back up to full. Just gotta pay attention to my health bar. Four crates this time as well. Beautiful. Ah, I couldn't quite get to those trees in time. I'll take that, thank you. And that. And that. Cycle that. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, this curse, which is nice. Got a spear. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of materials. Lovely. That. That's a nice one. That's more enemies. I'll just take that as it is. That's just engineering. That's beautiful. Ooh, this guy scales with engineering. This is Tyler. Oh, it's Alexa. Hello, Alexa. I'll, I'll bring you along for the ride. Cool. So, so we're at 3.30. Oh my god, up to 384 from a crate. We are getting a lot of materials from crates right now. <laughs> the more of those we get, the better. So I'm glad we've upped our luck so much. Our luck's up to uh, 117 already. The only problem about so much luck is it's hard for us to get blue items now. And the item that we that we still are looking for is blue. Although, I say, we don't seem to need it that badly. It'd be nice if we got it, but I think even if we don't, we're not going to be that pressed. Like, this is, this is going well. The engineering on the mines is working. It's just... Unfortunately, we're playing as a character where we didn't really need to play as this character now. The whole point of playing this character was all the extra tree spawns, and that's not really ended up mattering. Oh, wow, that guy hits hard. That's quite a bit of HP. Oh, look, at, look at the amount of crates we got this wave. We'll 
we'll take that. That's decent. 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 Thank you. Melee damage. A, hey, there you go. Plus two materials. Good stuff. A, hey, we finally got one of these. Cursed. I'm just going to take that because it's annoying me. Another one of them. Lovely. Ooh, 50% chance to explode when you get hit. Ooh, that's very nice. Should I wait for that to get cursed? I think I'm going to wait for that to get cursed. Enemies have 100% HP. That's just too risky. I'll lock that in as well. One way before the boss. So even if it's not cursed, we're definitely going to buy the 25% damage to bosses and elites. That's going to be quite important for the next wave. Good stuff. I'm glad we got a lot more screwdrivers to level those up. I mean, now let's have a little look-see. A landmine spawns every three seconds. Every three seconds. It's a lot of landmines. A lot of essential landmines. Give me that crate. I think the crates do also act as fruit as well. They do heal you. But it's not a problem if we get too many crates. If it does walrus guys are kind of wild. Kind of wreck me every time I get near them. Wow. Okay, that's very good. I go with that. Probably go with the armor, to be honest. 46% up to 53. Yeah, that's pretty good. A, that did curse. Very nice. We're just going to grab that. A, we got another one of these. And it's a cursed one as well. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Explosion size. There's a massive increase there as well. Excuse me? There you go. Beautiful. Ooh, that's very good. That will be good later on if we get our tree item, but that's eluding us right now. So unfortunately, we are going to have to do the boss without our tree item, which is a shame. But as you can see, he's not, he's not exactly slow to die here. Only thing is, I don't actually know many of the attack patterns of the bosses, so... Forgive me if I make a mistake. But there you go. That was, that was good stuff. We got through that pretty quick. Got ourselves an elite crate as well. Give us a beautiful red item. There's a few red items that increase the amount of engineering we get. So obviously I'm looking for those. And I think there's one that uh, does something for your structures. I can't remember exactly what. But there's a purple item that means our structures can crit, I think. We're looking for that one as well. But that's only if we get the turrets. Otherwise they don't exactly matter. Beautiful. We're very survivable. This 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 item with the um, the fruit is really helping us out. Where it gives us delayed healing over four seconds. Because the health like normal health regen stat has a cap, whereas this doesn't seem to have any sort of cap. It can regen at crazy speeds if we've picked up enough fruit, which we often are picking up a lot of it. The amount of crates we're getting. God damn. So many. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll take that. Ugh, more tree spawns. Very nice. More engineering. More luck. Take some crit chance. Why not? I think I've got to take that, haven't I? Now, no, just looking for stuff to lock in. Grab that as is. Ooh, that could be very good. Oh, there it is. Pocket Factory. We got it. 
Now, the question is, do I lock it in and see what happens? I'm going to try it because we're surviving at the minute. I want to see if I can get it cursed and see if that does anything big for us. Because if it's spawned two turrets, it might not be. But if the curse version has spawned two turrets, then it would be absolutely amazing for us. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gamble. Got him. We're getting crates from like every other tree at this point. We've got a lot of elites here. We're killing him very quickly. And the mine's explosion radius now is so big as well. That's another very good thing about our situation from that uh, cursed item that increases explosion radius. Tyler, why are you always off to the side? Why are you never near the middle? Cheeky Tyler. Ooh. That's very good. That's also very good. That's also very good. Oh my god. Very good stuff there indeed. Neither of these have cursed yet, which is kind of annoying. Hmm. Speed is caps it. Nah, we don't really want that, do we? Keep them locked in. Hopefully curse. I can't do it for too much longer, though, because I do really need the turrets. I'm getting to the point where if I don't get the turrets, I'm going to start dying. Already got four crits. Wow. Yo, I, we can see that some of the um, mines are actually cursed on, on the floor. There's like some of them have like a little cursed purple plume effect. So many mines, though. Wow. So many mines. Like impossible for the enemies to avoid now. Just spawning on top of them. Please curse it after this wave. I really want to buy it. I just want to see how crazy it gets because we've got all the piercing and stuff going on with it as well. Beautiful. Why not? Why not? Why not? That's not super useful for us. There you go. Okay. Okay. So it just increases tree spawns. Look, more tree spawns. Nice. Okay. I'm just going to take this because it's not cursing. It's annoying me. Definitely grab that. Grab that. Oh, I've got a minigun there. I'm, honestly, though, I'm locked in with what I've got going on. Hey, that's good. I don't know what the um, curse version of that'll do though, so I'm kind of interested to see. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock all of those in. Right, so this will this will get pretty wacky now. Now that we're gonna get a ton of turrets. So how much are our turrets doing? Tur turrets are doing 69 per shot, which isn't a lot compared to what we're hitting them for. But just just think about the numbers. And also, we'll get to the point at some point where our turrets can crit as well. And also as well, this has just increased our tree spawns, which is really nice. But yeah. And I think our turrets can pierce too, so although it might not be the, the highest amount of damage, it adds up very quickly to a lot of damage. I mean, you can see already on this wave that things are clearing out so much faster. Like, I've not had to do anywhere near as much. And there's a lot of turrets about. Uh, 
Uh, I'll take some range. I don't know if that'll help. There you go. Uh, plus 20 dodge. Okay, nice. Weapon damage um, additionally scales with 39% chance, 39% uh, of engineering. That seems pretty good for us. That engineering's 94. That seems really good too. Okay, ran out of money there, but we got some really good stuff. Oh, this is beautiful. We have so much movement speed now, so what's our speed at? 70%, wow. We're getting so much other stats off of the back of having a lot of movement speed too. And our attack speed is up to 100% as well. Yeah, having movement speed is actually kind of amazing. Especially for getting around this bigger map and to get uh, getting to all the trees not that we need to anymore like i said we've, we're very self-sufficient now the trees kind of just get destroyed idly by all the mines that are about in turn just uh, creating more turrets and just creating a healthy ecosystem for us it's pretty beautiful is what it is pretty beautiful We're up to have 24 already there. Well, 25 coming up. And we we literally, the only healing we have is from the fruit as well. Oh, damn. Um, Yes, I'll take that. Four additional loot appearance. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Go with that. Even more piercing. More dodge. This is cursed. 31%. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, there it is. Ricochet. That could... If it works with the torch, I think it will. It'll be pretty amazing. We shall see. But if it actually does work and they start bouncing and stuff, then we can have some bullets going all over the goddamn place. It do I think it looks like it is. Either way, we don't have to worry about picking up materials anymore as well. It's really nice. We just kind of walk around and let things happen. In fact, we can probably stand still for the most part and be fine. Apart from those, like, arrow attacks. I mean, mostly okay. But we do have to pick up the, uh, the fruits as much as we can. We're getting so much materials per wave now as well. We're up to 162 curse. So many crates per wave. More than you can believe. That's very nice. I'm going to skip on that. Take that. Take that. Doesn't really matter for us. Take that. Armor. What's our dodge max? Okay, I take some more dodge. We're up to dodge max now. Lovely. Extra engineering, please. That seems pretty good if we can get more burning going on. Twenty percent damage attack speed minus one armor at the end of now. Nah, that doesn't seem good. Ooh, we'll lock that in do with that. Ooh, okay, so this is really good. This is really good. I'm going to lock that in and see what that does when it's cursed, because that could be really good. But that's just a really good item in general. The next reroll being upgraded could give us some legendary stuff to work with. Still looking for more stuff to increase our structure's damage, but so far, I don't think it's a big pro problem. Things are going really well for us. I do think we could have a bit of trouble pass wave 30, though. That th that's when things start to get a bit mental. But right now, you can see that the, the mines are doing incredible damage. It says only 148, but they're, do, they're doing a lot more than that. Very clearly. And there's just kind of bullets flinging flying all over the place as well. 
Even more crates, baby. I like the way that because the trees are getting destroyed automatically, sometimes we just walk along and find an extra crate that's just lying there. Don't know how long it's been there, but a tree dropped it at some point. Go with attack speed, why not? Elemental damage there. Neither of those cast, annoyingly. All red now, lovely. We don't need any more piercing, to be honest. Fireball. Ooh, that. That's pretty amazing for us. I'm going to lock that in as well and try and cast that too. Increase the chance, I'm guessing, of getting that healing. We, we, we must be dodging quite a lot at this point. We have caps to dodge. Getting even more healing from that sounds pretty useful. I'm surprised nothing else cares though. 40% chance. I know it's not crazy high, but you'd think it'd have happened. I want even more white items though. I want I want more tree spawns. Give me even more tree spawns. Surely you can get to the point where there's just trees non-stop everywhere. I like that as a way as well, like, I'm getting crates without even knowing. I just, they just appear in my inventory. I don't know where I got them from, but... Just another crate added to the rest, the roster to open at the end of the wave. I like it. We're in absolutely no danger at all at the minute, though, by the looks of it. <laughs> hey, that's, what, was, what was I just asking for? What was I just asking for? Hey, attack speed there is really nice. More armor is really good. More armor is really good. Okay, there you go. 10% dodge. Heal 10. Okay, double the amount of healing we, we will get. Critical hit steal 10% damage. Oh, that's very nice. So many potatoes. Potato thrower. Interesting. I've not seen that before. An interesting weapon. Still waiting for those two to curse. If they even can, they might not be able to. I'll give it like one more wave. And if not, I'll just buy them. because it, I, I don't know if everything can curse. I think they can. But there might be ones that specifically can't for some reason. I just don't know about. But yeah, we've got dodge giving us inc insane healing and repulse damage when we do dodge. Like, if you take a look at our health, it barely moves. Like, the amount of... Like, how often we get hit is, uh, is pretty low. We're also constantly gaining max HP. I'm not exactly sure why. I like it, but I'm not exactly sure what item's doing that. I can't remember. Beautiful. Only three crates so far, though. This is uh, a weak wave for crates. Oh, there you go. Four, four's a minimum. Yeah, why not? Um, more armor. What is that? 15... Max HP, restore 5 HP a second, cannot heal in any other way. Well, that sounds terrible. So these two just clearly aren't cursing, so I'm just going to do that. Oh, wow, that was a, a wasted fish right there. I'm going to lock that in and try and curse it. Ten percent life steal, two percent damage for every one life steal you have. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. That as well. That. We now take one damage a second, but I don't think that'll be our undoing. We're constantly healing. We just gained a ton of damage out of that, so we should be fine. What speed are we at now? 88, goddamn. 
You can feel it. It's so fast. Just zooming around. Is this, is this our strongest build we've had? I guess wave 30 and, and onwards will be the test of that work. That's where things really start to become difficult. Look at the amount of turrets down here. I love it. So many of them. I, I love engineering builds. Engineering builds are so fun. So much you can do with them. It'd be cool to do like a full exploding turret with a wrench build. Beautiful. More Tyler. 27% attack speed, I gotta take that, haven't I? Got another mirror here, lovely. So taking an extra mirror doesn't really matter. Two times potatoes, not bad. Also, this is cast now as well, so we can recycle that and grab that. Lovely. Another potato. What the hell's going on with all the potatoes, man? Now I'll take them, but it's confusing. Ooh. Both of those are good. Oh, 50%. I should have been cursing these a long while ago. I didn't realize it would be 50%. That's a lot. Right, wave 30. Boss time. Oh. My. God. Okay. That, that, that was extremely fast. Like, way faster than anticipated. What's that damage at? 666 is that? Goddamn. That's mental. <laughs> I didn't think we'd kill them that fast. What was our crit chance as well? Crit chance is 60. Pretty good. Yeah, this build has kind of uh, gone a lot further than I expected. I'm, I'm betting we'll get to about wave 36 with this. 35, 36. Because at one point, it gets to the point where you take like one hit and you're kind of screwed. You need the um, the item that nullifies the first hit you take. If you can get a curse one of them, it nullifies two. If you get a few of those and a lot of dodge, then you can nullify most of your hits and be all right. So many potatoes. Oh, my God. What's going on with them all? Like, how many potatoes are we on now? Seven. We have seven potatoes. Interesting. Although our harvesting has got to the point where it's, it's depleted a lot, so that might not be super useful, but I'll lock it in and see. I should have taken that, because that dodge is way over. Another fish hook, very nice. Hello, you. Is that is our um, screwdrivers as well? The screwdrivers are going nuts. Like, what's our attack speed as well? 268. That's gone up very, very quickly. I don't know how these screwdrivers are doing so much damage. They're doing it and doing it very rapidly. It's kind of nutty. Nothing can really stand to us right now. What's that armor at as well? 44, 75% less damage. That's that's taking us quite far, that is. That's huge. What a beautiful build. We're nearing an hour as well for this run, which is kind of unusual for a Brotato run for me. Normally they're about 25 minutes. I suppose once you start getting to the later waves, the it does take longer to make decisions and buy stuff and all that sort of crap. Hey, that's good. Ooh, 4% chance to find an extra item in a crate. 
Swap your hat. Ooh, this is interesting. This is really interesting. This could end our run, but it'd swap 760 with elemental damage, which would in turn increase our engineering. So I'm going to try it out. Yeah, engineering, 860. It's obviously lowered our damage by a ton, but I'm really curious to see... I'm really curious to see how that goes for us. Let's try and get damage percent now, shall we? Although I could go with attack speed. Really? Damage percent? There you go. Try and build that back up. Full. Lock that down. Okay. Lock that in as well. So this this might have overall lowered our damage a lot, but we should be able to see that our turrets are now doing like, like if we just stand still. Our turrets and mine should be doing an insane amount more damage. Which are really meant to be the stars of the show, which is why I did it. Yeah, this is clearly working quite well. The turrets are doing um, like 4,000 damage a hit now. <laughs> Along with the mines. Like, let's have a look at what, what, the, what damage the mines are doing now. 1,133. And then, like, we go over to just a regular turret. 700 damage, yeah. And the amount of them that we have is uh, pretty amazing. That's why I took that thing that the elemental goes to engineering. Worked out really well for us there. Beautiful sight to behold, this is. Another potato. Gotta love it. Nah, I'm not gonna take that. That lovely. That. That's very nice, although I'm gonna lock it in. Good. Lock that in as well. Lock that in as well. Lock them all in, baby. We've got like 60% chance now to um, curse an item, so at least one of those should curse. Yeah, we're very much at the point now where the turrets will very much handle everything for us. We can just kind of idly sit here and let things float on by. And gain a ton of materials. Wow, we are getting a lot per wave. Yeah, we don't we don't need to worry about the trees at all now. They completely take care of themselves. And just create an army. The later into the wave we get, the stronger we get. More mines down. I think we actually do have the one-way scale damage between and we're 169% damage right now. The damage loss hasn't hurt us too much. This might end up being a plus a 40 plus wave wave run, which I haven't had before. Why not take some more luck? Some more engineering. A hey, all three of these cursed. Lovely. Lock that in as well. Lock that in. Lock that in. Having structures attack even faster and stuff is going to be very good. We still don't have the one that lets uh, structures crit, though. That's the one that we're missing. There's an item that allows structures to crit. And it it's based off your crit chance, which is currently 80%. So it would be really, really nice to grab that.
Yeah, also we're at the point now where money is just not even a problem. I don't think Piggy Bank works at this stage though, does it? Our Piggy Bank has some sort of limit past wave 20. I do love the fact that this game does have an endless mode though. Just for, just for like pushing the limits on this sort of stuff and seeing what you can do. I like to see the limits of games be tested. I mean, Isaac's a, a perfect example of that sort of game, isn't it? many items to go through. Speed A. Got these cursed again. 21% structure attack speed. On our secondary here, structure ra range is not good, but 60% extra structure attack speed is real nice. Anvil. A random weapon is upgraded when entering a shop. You have no weapon to upgrade. You gain plus two armor instead. That sounds very nice for us. Very nice indeed. Hmm. Hey, more trees. I can lock that in, can't I? I'm skipping past some things I shouldn't be here, I realise. Ninety seven crit chance, nice. There it is! 10% attack speed, increase the attack speed of your structures by 50%. Oh, beautiful. That's going to make a world of difference. I know we were already strong, but now our structures can attack like more than twice as fast. They're going to be doing a lot. <laughs> I can't believe we're on like 900 engineering. I've never seen it get anywhere near that high. Axolotl's a great item. It's so risky, but very good. It's just nice we had such high damage percent and it was basically traded for a different type of damage percent, essentially. It must be over 100 movement speed now as well. Yeah, 166. When did we get that high? Oh my god. We definitely have something that's scaling into movement speed that I don't know about. I've not taken much movement speed and it just keeps going up. Ah, you can see that some of the enemies are taking a beating though. That they're not dying straight away. Lovely, lovely. Five thirty 30% damage there, love that. Another solid 30%, although I should probably lock that in. I probably should have done that with the last one, actually. You. Lock that in as well. Should have found a bunch of things to lock in at this point, I think. Take that. Not really finding what I need here. I'll leave that as it is. Lock those in. Thing is, though, I've not got to worry about material because I'm going to get an absolute ton of them.
the extra we get for killing cursed enemies, and we're up to 376 cursed, which is a 44% chance of an enemy being cursed, which is huge. We're getting like a, a good couple of thousand materials every wave. Yeah, you can see the enemies are definitely like not just instantly dying anymore, which, like I said, with 36 is where I thought we we're going to live to. Clearly, we're getting past that, but. I think 40 and onwards may be a struggle, even with this setup. All it takes is one big hit from the wrong big guy. I should love the way that we could just zoom around. This area felt so massive to begin with, and now it feels tiny. Even more tree spawns, I'm liking that. So no armor max, wow. Oh, I can get two of these. I can get two of these. I will take that. That so uh, our damage is now up to 480%. So that that didn't last long, did it? Oh, there was a screwdriver there that I missed. My bad. My bad. Ooh, I could have um plus five HP regen for every permanent Okay, so I'd get minus seven ninety. Oh my god, that would be awful. Is there a reason why I'd want to take that ever? So many trees now. Absurd. I'm really intrigued to see what happens with Wave 4, because I've never been there before. I don't know how many bosses it'll spawn. I don't know how hard they'll be. I reckon health-wise, we'll probably kill them pretty much instantly. But if they actually hit us, I do think there's a chance that I get killed if I get hit by like, two of them at once. Or like, just two shots back-to-back -back sort of thing. I don't think it's a guaranteed win, even with this setup. But I think we are going to have to cut it short pretty shortly, because this is this this run has gone on far longer than I expected it to. So I think once we beat wave 40... I said I'd let myself die, but I don't even know if I can do that. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I think you can just give up though, can't you? End the run, yeah. There's, there's an end run button. Nice. So we'll probably do that very shortly. Only a few more waves. <laughs> it's so tedious to go through all this at the end of every stage as well. Fifty-four percent chance to gain one material win. Oh my god, that's gonna be amazing. Another mirror here. What do we want with the mirror? That's... That's pretty nuts. Although it's only max 8 per. I'll lock that in for now. Yeah, a lot of luck. Lock that in as well. Damn. Didn't really get anything mirror worthy there. But yeah, that, that uh, gut, the one that gives us um, extra health, if we can curse that, I think it's 8 is the limit per wave, but if we can up that, then we're going to get loads. I mean, not that it matters at this point, like, we're not really going to get to use that. We're not going to play the run that much longer, but still, I still want it. <laughs> I still need it. I wonder if it, is there like a way that says how many structures you have currently? Because it'd be really nice to know how many we have by the end of every wave. You saw though the amount of damage I just took then. Look at our health. It's not it's not completely static anymore. It is on occasion taking a beating. But our 
garden of destruction can take care of itself, which is really nice. Structures can crit. That's a huge damage increase. Still looking for something to duplicate. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. I'll lock that in. Lock that in. Lock that in. Let's lock all of those in. But structures can crit has basically just doubled the damage of all of our structures. So we should see a massive improvement on killing speed here. We're on 83% less damage now as well. Oh my god, and we're still taking some huge hits on occasion. Luckily, once we've gotten a fruit, we just kind of heal past it. I need to remember how good Jerky is. As, although I say that, Jerky's only really good when you've got high luck and a lot of trees. Because you need the fruit to make it work. This character specifically is very, very good with it. But in the future, it might be something that I take more often. Because initially when I saw it, I was like, nah, why would you want delayed healing rather than instant healing? But... It effectively is better health regen if you can get enough of it, really. And it works as such. Look at this little Armageddon of turrets down here. Mines? I should only keep going for attack speed because that directly affects our turret's attack speed. Or luck. We can go with luck as well. There you go. We go with this. Yeah. Well. Trying to get the last few bits and bobs for the boss. Okay, let's see how this goes. Wow. Yeah, there you go, we died. <laughs> we literally just walked into that guy and died. But that was an amazing run. Absolutely loved it. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.